Welcome everyone to Side Draft and Have you missed us? Have you missed us? <laughs> we wore the same clothes all week. <laughs> uh, no, we just recorded all of them in one sitting, so uh, This is the only shirt I got. This is my prediction shirt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so today oh, we are really smart. <laughs> today we are making our predictions on how the next gen car will perform. Uh, I wanted to make this a separate video so it wouldn't be colliding with our driver performances, predictions, things like that. So this is solely on how the next gen car will perform on track. So uh, this car will have the 670 horsepower package on most tracks aside from the super speedways such as Daytona, Talladega, and now Atlanta, which is weird. To say it's a super speedway now, yeah, it's a super speedway. Wow, they're gonna go full throttle around that place, it's gonna be really tight, and uh, wrecks are gonna be scary, but we'll oh, it see. Went, it went in a repave, too, didn't yeah. It? So they, wow. they repaved it into a super speedway. So they got zero notes on the car. Well, they would probably have some notes by then, but yeah. zero notes on the track. I mean, there's good a, luck, guys. There's a lot of things. <laughs> so, uh, we'll have a, a new track in Gateway. Uh, which is something the trucks go on and now the cup series is going on too so um, and also the uh, la coliseum which will be the bush clash uh, so wrong. i mean i don't know how i feel about that to be honest but uh but i i understand it you know because if you're in the class you probably get a better advantage according to daytona 500 um so might as well put it in the Coliseum, give us some little short track racing. I mean, this is going to tear up a lot of cars. Yeah, so uh, everybody's going to be going from LA all the way back to Daytona. That's going to be pretty tough on the hauler drivers, um, unless they have like two haulers and stuff like that. So run some teams or something. Yeah. But uh, let's talk about our predictions of how this car will perform. We got a lot of new things. Uh, we got the single lugs, we got the diffusers in the back, we got sequential shifting, we got even a camera in the car, so they don't have to use a, a mirror, which I'm pretty sure they'll still have one, but you know, just in case the uh, camera. That kind of sucked if a camera go out. <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> I can't see nothing. Back and then like you can't can't uh, connect to your spotter or something, your radio is going out. Man, that sucked. <laughs> Hope and pray is all I can say. Uh, so I say we'll have a definitely different year. Uh, everything's going to be completely different. And also, they're moving the day number. They're moving the numbers, which some look cool, some look stupid as all get out. We'll look at some of them uh, in a future video on this channel. So subscribe for if you want to see our reactions to some of these paint schemes. Uh, so uh, how do you think this next gen car will perform? Well. I believe uh, a lot of teams may struggle early on. Uh, there may be a one or two teams that really hit something, really dominate, and get time for other ones to catch up. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you if you're missing a lug out right here, you're done for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I believe the teams. I mean, they're, they're probably going to practice this uh, beforehand. But I believe the first pit stops, they're going to be some miscommunications. Going to have some trouble. Uh, because you know it's different. You know, you, you practice it, and then you go out there, and you under pressure, and things happen. So, uh, I believe pit road is going to be real interesting. Yeah, to say the least. Uh, and these cars tend to stay tight. You know, I believe the, the, the driver is really going to struggle with them a little bit. Um, I'm kind of interested in how they're going to do on road courses. Yeah. So uh, that, that's one thing. Um, a lot of cars, a lot of drivers were wrecking in all the tests at Charlotte Motor Speedway, which you'd think, you know, a mile and a half should be pretty easy when you're by yourself to keep it on track. Yeah. Uh, they were struggling, especially like the RCR guys, Austin Dillon, Tyler Reddick, they were really struggling to keep it on the track and you know, just had drivers all day, every day spinning out, uh, which is really good for the sport because we've been so accustomed accustomed to the 550 package just watching these guys just go on a cruise just you know the full throttle racing not really too much crazy thing things happening 
Uh, we're pretty much thirsting for the short tracks and the road courses just to have something happen on track uh, that wasn't involved like pit road penalties or something like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm real curious how these things will hold up during uh, a crash impact. I mean, we've been pretty safe over the years uh, coming up to this point. I believe they're going to still continue to put safety in the cars. Is just uh, they're, they're pretty solid now. So the, the composite bodies, I mean, I believe, you know, they're going to rub the wall a little bit. He, you know, before you just hit the wall, you cut a tire. Um, yeah, electric composite bodies, you can't put a lot of repairs on them, I guess, but I believe they're going to still have a, a six minute clock. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I believe they're more durable. Uh, I like, I'd be interested to see how these cars interact in traffic so one one track i'm looking forward to is darlington so with the composite bodies uh sometimes when you hit the wall it will uh you know the car will get bent out of shape but it will pop back we've seen that in xfinity like cars have hit the wall but they've been fine because of the you know like the uh the alloy there with the composite body so that's something cool you know you won't have your driver absolutely destroyed because he hit the wall and and like darlington you know he, people will be up against that wall they'll be hitting it but they'll be fine they'll be just driving them things it'll be pretty cool yeah, i guess at the coliseum we're really going to uh, see a lot of that there may be some beating and banging there and yeah uh, i'm really sad that they didn't bring the uh last gen cars to the coliseum just wreck them one last time yeah like you ain't gonna use them anymore just yeah, wreck them demolition you know? derby i don't think i've been better but you know all those cars are now sold and probably going to arca uh i thought it'd been cool to just have a demolition derby out in the coliseum but um we'll probably still have somewhat of a demolition derby uh, I, I believe we may well i would say we have a little bit of transmission problems this year just getting used to the sequential shifting yeah uh, so I believe the cars will shine on the short tracks, Martinsville, Bristol, and mile and a half races will perform much better. It'll be, I think we'll be looking forward to mile and a half races this year. Uh, just how tough it is to wheel these things. Uh, I believe the Ford Mustang will have an advantage, aero advantage. Uh, they look pretty fast in all the tests. And I believe the Toyotas will have a disadvantage because they pretty much kept the same body for the most part. Uh, whereas like the Forge really changed it. Um, yeah, I believe the Toyotas really had an advantage on the old old car, uh, just the arrow wise, but I guess they want to try to keep that. And I mean, it may hurt them in the end. Uh, and I believe the number placement will get better throughout this year uh, with feedback from sponsors, fans. Um, I believe like paint scheme designers will get better at it. Uh, we'll have some actual good paint schemes. We have seen some, uh, which again, we will look at all of them in a couple weeks. Um, yeah, I believe the number does look a little better towards the front of the car instead of on the back corner panel. Yeah. It still belongs on the door, but yeah. uh, I believe it looks better. You, know, you get a little bit more room for the sponsors right before the the wheel well toward the back. So. But when the car looks so ugly, fans aren't going to buy merchandise and die cast and stuff like that. Yeah, so. The die cast sales may fall off. Yeah. Um, it really depends. Uh, yeah, like, I think these collectors like, we will we'll probably buy these cars because it'll be the first time the yeah. next gen. And I believe the road courses will produce a wider variety of contenders. So before it's just been Larson and Chase. Or just Chase or just Larson. So I believe uh, this year we're going to have a lot of more contenders. We got Cendric in the field, but also these cars are going to drive completely different. We might see a completely different, you know, person that is really good at these. So, uh, you know, might see Brad Kozlowski come back to road course form. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of things like it that. A, it could the lower team, lower funded teams compete with the bigger fund. Yeah. yeah. You know, I was, I was just curious. I mean, that's the whole idea of this this car to come out so they can be competitive too and keep the cost down and, 
Yeah, I'd see Corlys only get pretty good top team or something. And I believe we'll see uh, the most first time winners in a single season than we ever have <laughs> because we're gonna see uh, you know we got a lot more people. We got Cendric, Hurston Burton, they're rookies this season. And we got you know a couple of drivers doing part time schedules. We got more teams coming in. So probably see a lot more first time winners. And I believe this will be the best season that we've had of racing in recent years. So a lot of hope for this next gen car and a lot of optimistic uh, feelings towards it. So I'm looking forward to it. Definitely so. Awesome, but we will uh, cover the entire season of NASCAR from the trucks, Xfinity and Cup. Looking forward to uh, talking NASCAR with all of you once again this season. Uh, we already had the Chili Bowl Fast Fix underway, so like Fast Fix is coming back. We're talking about the preseason stuff. This is like just get back to racing and yeah, just uh, yeah. And all season is kind of tough. You just try to find something to watch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, trying to stay relevant throughout the off season is pretty tough. Uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, getting back into the swing of things and getting back to form. Uh, so, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know your next-gen predictions in the comments below. And, you know, we'll come back at the end of the season and look at them and see how smart or dumb we all were. Yep. Uh, they could end up having a new car coming in or something. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one.